look at a 1996 John Deere 455 diesel garden tractor. Uh, this side panel has a 425 on it, but it's actually a 455. Uh, you can see we've got the right one on that side. Let's go ahead and take a look under the hood while we've got it running. So like I mentioned, this Yanmar diesel has 1,050 hours on it, features a 60-inch deck. We've got a few rest spots on it, but overall it's in pretty good shape. Grill's in good shape, but it is missing the little side, you know, reflectors here. Um, let's go over the controls of this machine real quick. We've got tilt steering, move that down. We've got an adjustable seat here. Got your throttle, PTO engagement lights which all four lights do work we've got your hydraulic levers the top one controls your hydro hydraulic lift lever um, so that's what makes your deck go up and down and if you had a three-point hitch it would make your three-point go up and down uh, it also controls one of the hydraulic remotes on the other side this lever controls the other hydraulic remote on the other side um, taking a look further down we've got ignition parking brake set cruise control set here's your deck hiding uh, height uh, set over here we've got your brake pedal forward and reverse this forward pedal uh, has seen had some work done to it over here we've got a cubby to put all your stuff we've got differential lock here uh, so that if one of your rear tires starts spinning you could engage the differential lock and both of your rear tires will spin which helps you to get out of a uh, difficult situation. Got a tough torque transaxle, K91. It is a diesel. Seat safety switch is bypassed. Here's your hydraulic oil check. So on this machine, uh, we haven't seen any leaks from the um, front hydraulic cylinder. The engine uh, does appear to have a, a very slight oil leak, but it looked like it was originating from the uh, drain plug, so that may not be uh, too terribly big of an issue. We noticed some oil residue uh, on the hydraulic system underneath, uh, so we, it is uh, dripping just a little bit of hydraulic oil, but nothing very big. So we're talking a few drips uh, of an evening. Um, and then also the uh, uh, brake doesn't really seem to work very well, uh, so you wouldn't want to be in a situation where you'd rely on it. Uh, we're not sure what's going on with that. Um, otherwise, uh, the machine is in uh, pretty good shape. Uh, last thing that we did notice is that sometimes the wiring is a little tricky uh, to the PTO switch. Um, you should hear a click there for the uh, fuel shutoff solenoid or fuel shutoff um, yeah, solenoid to open. There you heard it. So sometimes I, had to, I have to wiggle this uh, for the uh, and I'm sure that we could adjust that just a little bit. The wiring going into the PTO clutch or the PTO switch is uh, maybe a little corroded or dirty, which sometimes prevents the fuel shutoff solenoid from opening. Uh, but uh, again, we've had, all we've done is just given that a wiggle and it's worked just fine. Anyway, that's it. Uh, you know, really a neat machine, good running diesel. Uh, we've mowed with it seems to mow good run good it's got you know typical tail light issues this one's been screwed in this one's broken and has been uh, kind of glued in somehow uh, but uh, now if you're looking for a, a low hour you know, John Deere diesel this might be a good fit for you 
you have any questions or if you'd like to take this machine for a test spin or buy it, you can email us at info at richland-sales.com or you can call or text 660-537-3588. Hey, thanks for watching.